What's up, YouTubers? Prep for Life doing a, another video. Um, this is my EDC on my day off. Uh, this is just a pocket dump. I do live in Texas, so it is about a thousand degrees here. I think it got up to 105 today. Um, and it's not the dry heat that's okay, it's the really crappy heat that's really hot. So uh, I was trying not to wear or carry too much stuff today. Um, so the things that are missing from here though are my cell phone, which normally rides in here. You can kind of see that it has created a form. This little uh, koozie's created a form where my phone goes. And I just carry it like that on my day off just to kind of protect the screen and also have a place for this guy. Um, if you don't carry a uh, koozie, they are super small and they're awesome to have. I am a college student who does go out and drink sometimes, so I like that, but I also drink several monsters a day. I know it's bad, I know, but I do, so I carry this guy with me. Up here I've got my Right in the Rain notepad. Um, I carry this at work also. Um, because I do interact with patients a lot and so I, I take this with me and I throw a patient label and write down any notes with, of what the patient was uh, what, what, what uh, let me try to talk here what issues uh, the patient had while they were there I, I, and I try to get them fixed um, basic wallet I just grabbed my uh, insurance card today so it normally needs to go in the car but I stuck it there so I wouldn't forget it um, Carmex. Um, this is my Phoenix E11. This is a great flashlight. I don't carry it all that much anymore, but um, I think it does a really good job. I think it's like 50 lumens on low and 100 lumens, or 105 lumens on high. Um, but I really like it. I don't get to carry it very often, but when I do, I, I really enjoy it because it's not much bigger than the Carmex container and it runs off a of one AA battery. So. I really enjoy that. It's my Benchmade Griptilian. If you've watched any of my other EDC videos, this hasn't changed. Still rocking uh, my skull. But this is this has turned into my work and um, off day EDC. Got some lint in there. Um, I want to get some custom scales for it. I'm just having a hard time. I want them to be G10 and I'm having a hard time finding some nice G10 scales for it that are, you know, cost efficient. You know, I've, I found a few sets of scales, but they're like $200 and I was like, I only paid $85 for the knife, so I'm not going to spend $200 on, on the scales. So when I find some, you know, scales that are cost as much or less than what the knife cost, I'll put some, some nice scales on it. Um, so I know the thing that everybody wants to look at and talk about is the gun. I know. So let's get to that. Throw that to the side there. As you can see, it's changed a little bit because it's summertime. Um, this is my SIG P238. It's a 380. It is loaded, so I'll go ahead and unload it real quick for you. Wow, that was a lot of pocket line in there. <laughs> um, so this is a 380 that I've had for several weeks now. I was thinking about going with an LCP or something, but this came up on Texas Gun Trader. And for those of y'all who don't live in Texas, uh, that is a a gun um, classified website. And here in the state of Texas. There are no laws. Um, guns aren't registered to the owners. So you can basically get online and say, I have this gun, you have this gun, let's trade, you know, or you can buy or you can sell or whatever. And they're really, legally does not have to have any paperwork. You literally could walk up, somebody hands you 600 bucks and you hand them your gun and everybody walks away and that's it. Um, but, I always do a bill of sale, whether I'm trading or whether I'm buying. Uh, but anyways, the point of that was that there's a website where 
you can go online and look at all the guns that people are looking to get rid of or looking to sell or buy or anything. And so this, this gun came up on the website and um, so I went ahead and picked it up. I met the owner about 20 minutes from my house and talked for a little while and it actually, this is the P238 Blackwood edition and when I got it, it had the Blackwood grips. But I'm not a huge uh, fan of that style grip. I like Hogue grips more, the rubbery feel. Um, so I kept, I put the wood grips up and just bought these to throw on there just because it gives it a much better feel. Um, it comes with one SIG six round magazine. Um, it's, it's a flush, it's a flush fit magazine. Um, and I picked up an extended seven round magazine where you can actually get all three fingers on there. And it's actually pretty comfortable like this. I'm, I'm really digging the setup. I normally run it flush fitted um, when it's in my pocket, but you know, it's no pinky rest. So um, that's kind of a bummer. But anyways, I'm really liking it. I'm running the Hornady Critical Defense. Um, got the box over here, pulled out. Um, Critical defense, see if I can get this thing to focus. 90 grain, jacketed hollow points. Um, I've got that in both of these. Um, I'm using what's called a sticky holster. I had never heard of this. Um, I was at my local police fire EMS supply store um, and I saw it and I was looking at it, looking at it, and I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I pulled it out and I felt it, and it's not sticky, but it's got a rubbery material that, that's very grippy, if, if that's a word. Um, and it's great because I, I stick this in my cargo short pocket and it wedges itself in the bottom, and then when I go to draw the gun, this stays, but the firearm comes out. So, you know, it's, you know, without applying hardly any pressure, it just comes right out so I really really like that um, and it wasn't very expensive so sticky holsters it seems to be pretty nicely made I like it I like it so far the only downside is, is it, it said uh, there, the package has a list of what sizes uh, holster and it said a medium two or something like that and I did so I, it didn't look right, so I went with the small, and I'm, I'm glad I did because it actually ended up fitting perfectly. It was it was a little tight the first day, but after that, I mean, it fits perfectly right in there. So I uh, I decided to go with that. So, anyways, this is my EDC uh, gun right now for the summertime. It is the one thing everybody says in the world of 380s. This is a heavier model of 380 because it's not plastic, it's not polymer. Um, but I, uh, I really like it, I like the quality, I like that uh, really nice trigger on it. I mean, it, it's compared to, you know, it's, this is a single action compared to like a double action. You know, this guy, I mean, once you, once you get to that breaking point, you just barely, barely do it. And I really like that. Um, very nice, clean, crisp trigger. I, you know, I used to have a, a Ruger LCP and I've had an LC9. I've had lots of, you know, really long draw 380s and 9mm, and I really don't like that, except, one exception, the car series, CM9, PM9, CM40, PM40. Those those triggers are really nice. I like those. Um, but anyways, this is this is the gun I'm rocking right now. Really enjoying it. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not gonna do a review on this guy yet because I haven't actually gotten to put very many rounds through it. I want to put at least a couple of boxes of rounds through it uh, before I. Um, do a full review, but this is 
this is what I'm carrying uh, in my cargo pocket. So, all right, guys. I hope you liked the video. Uh, it's just a real quick, brief video. Um, I'm gonna do a quick overview on this next, and so be looking for that video. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Thanks.